New details about that tragic explosion at a Minneapolis high school, a gas leak collapsing part of the building, killing at least two people, trapping others inside. ABC's Alex Perez has the latest. Overnight, authorities working to secure the scene of that explosion that gutted part of this school building. We have windows that were blown out of flames and fire and a building collapsed as well. 1020 Wednesday morning, administrators and some students were inside the building here at Minnehaha Academy in Minneapolis. Basketball and cross-country practice had just wrapped up when the massive blast went off, reducing the middle portion of the building to rubble. There was a huge explosion, uh, smoke went up, knocked most of us kind of back. The explosion, authorities say, ignited when a crew accidentally pierced the gas line. Another staff said, hey, you know, we're smelling gas, we need everybody out. And it was literally seconds after that that there was a big explosion. First responders rushing in, searching for survivors. Outside, frantic parents desperate for any information on their kids. Nine adults rushed to the hospital. Very lucky it would have been made this uh, dramatically worse if we would have had in school in session. This man walked out alive, his head bandaged as he reunited with his wife. This is a day of extraordinary heartbreak in Minneapolis. Overnight, officials recovering the body of school janitor John Carlson. Also killed in the explosion, school receptionist Ruth Berg. <laughs> Overnight, a vigil remembering the woman who had worked at the school for 17 years. And investigators say in some ways they are very lucky. Had this happened just a few weeks from now, the building would have been packed with students getting ready for the start of the school year. George? Yeah, it is still so sad though. Okay, Alex, thanks very much.